I'm here at the Early Development Centre for Children, which is run by the Welfare Association in the old city of Jerusalem. And I'm accompanied here by Elizabeth, who is the coordinator of the centre. Elizabeth, tell us something about this centre. Uh, uh, this centre is uh, uh, the uh, Infant Welfare Centre. Uh, we have here a nursery. Uh, and a kindergarten. We, uh, we look after children who have critical social situations. Uh, we help them with the fees, uh, giving the children well, uh, well nutrition. Uh, we pick the, these children from, uh, uh, we have uh, a criteria which is Houses, uh, overcrowded houses, uh, no opportunity for work for the families, uh, 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 social pro uh, problems, and this is the way how we choose the children. We have 50 children now. People are seeking more to come to our uh, center. We have 20 on, uh, on our uh, waiting list, but it's not affordable for the meanwhile to have more children. Um, and you work with the parents as well, you, we, we with the women in particular? We to empower them and to let them have a role in the society. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm here in the Early Development Centre in the old city of Jerusalem. It's run by the charity The Welfare. Association, and in the other video that I've posted, you'll hear from Elizabeth, who's the coordinator of this centre, about some of the things they're doing. But you come in here, and it's a, it's a bit like the TARDIS. On the outside, it's really small, but you come in, and it's this oasis in the old city, really. Um, very focused on children, bright colours, and so on. Um, they've had to do a lot of work on getting rid of the humidity in here. But it really is a tremendous facility. But they still need more money. Behind me here you see um, some desks that they put in. They want to provide computers for the children, but they haven't got any computers yet. They need money for that. But really the main thing they need money for is money to keep going. They need their running costs. It costs about $20,000 every month to just keep this centre going. And that's why they're asking for money and if you want to make a difference, this is somewhere that's really making a difference in the old city.